fuck with me way back then Girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now And he's up right now oh, 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 yeah. How about now? Before we get started You see the thumbnail Before we get started You already know what it is You see the thumbnail You already know what it is but just in case everybody's not clear, there is no way that you're getting Michael Penix in the second round. No way. No no way possible is that happening. You are not getting Michael Penix in the second round. It's not happening as far as check marks go off. Like people, people keep talking about either the injuries or he's not athletic enough. Well, you saw him at the pro day. 36 and a half inch vertical. They had him clocked either with a 446 to a 45240. So let's just split the difference. So the man ran like a 449 or, or 45040. Athleticism, check. Processing, check. Cannon of an arm, check probably the best overall quarterback in this draft and that's including Caleb Williams check but people still think still believe that you can get this man in the second round and and after today hopefully people will understand that it's not happening and when you're the New York when you're the New York Giants and you're only picking at six right now you got all the rumors in the world oh the, the Giants might trade up for Drake May or trade up for JJ McCarthy or trade up for Jaden Daniels. You want to do all this trading up. You want to give away draft capital. We only got six picks in this draft. You want to give up draft capital. Who knows what it'll cost you. You want to give up draft capital this year and draft capital next year when you can just sit at six and draft Penix. You can do that. You can do that. Um, I was under a rock today. I was under a rock today, so I didn't see the pro days live. Um, by the time I crawled from underneath that rock, um, I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter in regards to how he did on his pro day, this being Michael Penix Jr. Um, I saw clips of, of Brian Dable talking to Penix, talking to Roma Dunze. So Penix was at that pro day. Obviously, we know that Drake May also had a pro day today, but Brian Dable was in the building with Penix today and I'm just thinking to myself yes yes the playmaker you you even seen you've seen it in the mock drafts that I've done you know draft Roma Doomsday come back in the second round possibly get Penix and stuff like that but here's the thing right now there's no guarantee that Michael Penix is going to make it to the second round and if you're asking me and my opinion there's no way he's making it to the to the second round again we're talking about the best quarterback in this draft sole quarterback not the best prospect with the highest ceiling type deal because you know that's caleb williams caleb williams i don't think he's generational i just think he's very 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 good generational was was andrew luck caleb williams is caleb williams very 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 good and he's not patrick mahomes and that's no knock to caleb williams but that's definitely disrespect to patrick mahomes when people try to compare Caleb Williams in college to what Patrick Mahomes is doing in the NFL, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about Michael Penix. So yeah, like if somebody told you for a fact, because a lot of people are under the impression that you can get Penix in the second round, or you can possibly trade. I don't want to give up picks. We need all of our picks, but we also need a quarterback that can get the ball downfield when you look at the weapons that we have right now what's the main problem that the new york giants are having yes you need a wide receiver one but what's the main getting these guys the ball you've seen darius slayton get open you've seen jalen Hyde get open you you know you've seen wandell robinson get open wandell robinson had a pretty good season this year imagine what could happen or what it would look like if these guys could get the ball more consistently and that's what you get with Michael Penix. Like people talk, like the injuries, he has two ACLs. The man has been healthy for two seasons. And we've seen quarterbacks like Joe Burrow really have no real injury history in college and come out and now look, 
How many how many seasons has Joe Burrow lost to injury? Two seasons so far, right? Two seasons out of what the four he's been in. But nobody's saying much about Burrow and coming back and what you know him being fragile and stuff like that. What about his legs, his knees, his ankle, his calf, whatever whatever's wrong with him? Aaron Rodgers, torn Achilles, Kurt Kurt Cousin, torn Achilles. Nobody's talking about how fragile these guys is going to be, and they're making they're making way more money than what the, the a first round quarterback is going to be making this year. You can take that chance. And for the other people that talk about, oh, if you miss out on the quarterback, if you miss out on the quarterback, it'll set back your franchise for five years. That's no longer true. That's no longer true. Look, look at the quarterbacks that are being drafted and being sent to the being shipped off. And not saying that, you know, who cares about Michael Pinks if, if it doesn't work? I'm just saying these are not you can't have these same excuses anymore. You talk about the office of will. They're working on the offensive line. We have six draft picks after we take care of the quarterback. Guess what? There might be some offensive linemen there if you're not sold on a wide receiver. I mean, I, I believe that there's other there's other positions uh, uh, of value that are that are higher than you know than offensive line is right now just because what we did in offseason in offseason and free agency. But there's no reason why, to me, outside of people just not wanting to see what their eyes are showing them that Michael Penix is everything that the New York Giants need uh, as as a quarterback or for a quarterback and you can say the same thing is about Drake May Jaden Daniels yes JJ Mo all these quarterbacks are good options all of them are great options you ask me who's the most pro ready right now Michael Penix I think he's the most pro ready even even more and Caleb Williams, I think his processing is already there where he can step in day one. Do we need for him to step in day one? Possibly not. You still have Drew Locke. Daniel Jones, who knows when he's going to come back. You still have Tommy DeVito for right now. So all these excuses that people have when it comes when it comes to Michael Penix, you ball him up. Kobe, throw him in the trash. Throw him in the trash because it's nonsense. The best quarterback in this draft, and you can possibly get this guy at six because everybody else wants to be stupid and overthink things. Two years healthy. Stop worrying about the man's knee. What did he do? The last two seasons, what did he do? And guess what else he does, people? He makes people better. He makes the guys around him better. And, oh, you can say, well, he had Roma Dunze. He had, he had um, Jalen Polk. He had... Uh, uh, McMillan. Okay, so what about when he was in Indiana with nobodies? And what did he do? Put that team on the show. He makes people around him better. And guess what? You name me a quarterback on the New York Giants right now that makes anybody better. I'll wait. No, it, it doesn't happen. What do you? Because you want you want everybody else to make the quarterback better. You need you need that wide receiver one. You, you you need an offensive line. All the all so you can make this quarterback better. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. You don't have to give up any draft. Like if 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 the consensus are what the consensus are. Like Penix is on a lot of people's radar, but as far as what, being the the top four guys, the top four guys everybody's talking about now. It's Caleb Williams, it's, it's Drake May, it's Jaden Daniels, and now it's J.J. McCarthy. I told you guys in the video a while ago that Penix is, is my number two quarterback behind Caleb Williams. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm good for any one of these, any, any one of these guys. But if you're going to tell me, oh, I got to trade up for J.J. McCarthy or trade up for, for Drake May or trade up for Jaden Daniels, and then I'm losing picks, possibly pick this year and a pick next year, and then also possibly losing a the player, then no. Why would I do that when I can sit at six, get the best quarterback in this draft, and still have five more picks in this draft? It didn't have to give up a thing, a thing. But it's not just about me. I'm not the GM. I'm just a guy on YouTube talking. I'm just a guy on YouTube talking and voicing my opinion. So before you get too angry, just remember that it's my opinion. Just like I respect your opinion, please respect my opinion at the end of the day. Because uh, that's what this channel is all about. And like I said, I love to see the comments. 
you know, down below as far as how you guys feel about this discussion, how you guys feel about Michael Penix at six. At six. I, I, I kind of have an idea what a lot of people are thinking. I see it all. I see it in the mock drafts. I see, when, you know, I see it with the J.J. McCarthy stuff, too, because people don't like J.J. McCarthy either. People don't like Michael Penix either. And the arguments that you have about J.J. McCarthy, about, uh, the, the main thing on him is you haven't seen him. Don't you seen Penix do it? And that's that's open ended. Anything that you can say, you've seen Penix do it. Even if you say, oh, he can't say how he stayed healthy for two straight seasons. He's probably had, has one of the most quarterback friendly styles, too, as far as uh, avoiding getting hurt, getting the ball out of his hands quick, getting out of bounds, scrambling enough to throw it away. We've seen that smart play. So if you're worried about his injury, the man plays. A, he plays he plays quarterback the way that you want quarterbacks to play it. You want him to be able to make plays, take the shots downfield, extend plays, but you also want him to be smart. And that's Michael Penix at the end of the day. And that's where I'm at right now. Who knows? Next week, I might feel different. But right now, today, Penix at six is what I'm talking about, people. Penix at six. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.